We're back on the Gino Washington Show. I'd like to say hello to all my fans all the way across the world. Thank you for still supporting me and supporting my music. So now let's go to part two of my interview with James Brown, Soul Brother Number One, that I did in 1977. It's have sold millions and I would say the disco beat of today is James Brown two oh, yes, years ago. Yeah, it's, it's so it's so elementary you know because uh, we have a you know, young man in the house tonight well, in, in, I said in the house in, in our suite here uh, that uh, in society he's white in my book he's my friend and like mm -hmm. I can say like my big son or my uh, or my uh, say my a big brother or my older son, that's mm -hmm. what I feel about him. We call him Bo Dollar. And we were talking about uh, we had a predominantly white group uh, mm -hmm. in the society, and they sound like blood, sweat, and tears this four years before they started and left Chicago. And because it was early, and he was out of Ohio, mm -hmm. a state that had got some antiquated laws, yet still on the books, uh, they didn't make it. If he had been in New York or uh, Detroit, or Chicago or Los Angeles, he would have made it then, you know. And he's now uh, working with publishing, and I say it's a sin to see that happen. So that shows you if there's a white kid who had soul and wanted to do some things then, and he got canned, think of the black kids got canned. Mm -hmm. Do you Ain't feel? Do you feel is is there a solution? About, yep. What is the solution? Do you feel? Uh, education, education, not books. Mm -hmm. You see. Blacks got to be educated to the books. Whites got to be educated to life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then we'll have a tool. It's like salt and pepper, you know. Mm -hmm. well, like Clay Tyson used to say, without salt and pepper, with salt and pepper, you have a perfect good meal. Mm -hmm. So this is what we need. We need to educate 80% uh, of the whites to, mm -hmm. to life, 80% of the blacks, give them education, and we'll bring it all together, and you've got a beautiful life. Do you feel that... Uh the white community really don't know that much about blacks and think to do. Well, I don't think that they take the time to even learn because it's not a necessity in their life. It's not a necess necessity that whites learn about blacks, mm -hmm. but it's a necessity that we learn about the structure. Mm -hmm. So they don't really try, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but uh, it would be nice if they would just listen to some of the younger people and find out what they're missing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's good to have so. Well, everybody has a little bit of it. And so, or everybody has it. But it's good to know where it is and know how to use it, you know. Like, it's good that we could take our soul and use it when we need it. But, like, say, rest soul, mm -hmm. and let's check out this business, mm -hmm. you know. Do you feel that uh, black people as a whole uh, should know more about each other also? I tell you, we should... Uh, just do what we we should love each other you know blacks just start telling each other that they love them mm -hmm. just a few years back mm -hmm. you know just a very few years uh it was, they thought it was like a, a, a real uh, a, a sin to tell a black man tell another black man you love him mm -hmm. you know he said hey man i gotta be you know you sure you okay man yeah because you i tell a woman i love but not a man but i mean then they go to italy and you go to europe and blacks uh, people just kissing each other uh, holding and embracing each other, you know, showing the, uh, the appreciation and affection for another human being. And uh, I remember a time that I thought it was like uh, a very stupid thing to see a man hugging another man and saying, hey, brother, I love you. Mm -hmm. You know, regardless of what his color is, but I'm saying, blacks, uh, don't, I don't think they need to take the time to learn each other. I think what they need to take the time to do is learn about what's going on. Mm -hmm. You know, the system has really uh, become antiquated when it think of in terms of a black knowing what the system has to offer. You know, it's very bad when you find 80% uh, of the blacks don't even know uh, who's running for who's running for president, who's running for senator, the speaker of the house, or who's running for district leader, or what have you. It's bad to know that they don't know what the inside of a polls look like. Uh, they never register to vote. They never utilize the tax dollar. Uh, they don't know that they're being discriminated against, you know. Uh, I, I, it's very sad to say, but in this country, I don't see freedom for a black man. Because mm -hmm. freedom has to come with, with, with uh, knowledge. Mm -hmm. And all the bills in the world not going to make you freedom, or make you free. So I'm mean, just very bad to say, you know, I see the young man with the two tons of his head like that and say, do I hear what I'm hearing? How can a man be free if he don't know what it, need to be, what it takes to be free? 
When you say that... See, um, you must know what it takes to be free. Mm -hmm. You get free of what? Mm -hmm. You know? And there are people that are so-called in society, captivity, that are free. I'm a free man because I know what I need. Mm -hmm. Now, I can't get to it. It's almost like having a short arm. Mm -hmm. You know, there's the money, but your arm won't reach so long. Mm -hmm. You know, then you need an umbrella or, or some kind of gadget to pull it to you. So you see it, but you can't get to it. You know, I know what my problem is. But it's bad when a fellow don't know what his problem is. Mm -hmm. so when a man walk in a place where all ladies are there and he got a big hat on his head and he keeps it on his head, mm -hmm. he doesn't, and, 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 you know, like Clay Tyson used to say, he was on a bus and uh, uh, an old lady got on and he, and he said, he was sitting there and he said he saw all the fellows uh, stand there and not let her on that bus, not, not, not give her a seat. And that old lady was very sick and she was tired and she was, uh, 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 had a little handicap, and she needed to be be seated. He said, they wouldn't let us sit down. He said, I just sit right there and I watch them. Do you feel... Did, miss it? Did you miss that? No. Do you hear what I said? Right. He sit there and watch. He observed, right. but the, nobody would respond. Mm -hmm. Then he said, I sit there and I watch that. See, the whole catch is that he watched it, and being a gentleman, he never took time to be a gentleman, and he was criticizing somebody else. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do is really find out where we're at. So you're saying that the black community should know thyself and respect and each other respect first. Them. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna demand a white man do something you're not, doing, you're not doing for yourself. What do you have to say about the motion picture industry now? But not that I'm gonna let the whites go and say they're right now. I'm not gonna do that because I think that they they're guilty of not. It should be mandatory that a black knows what's going on. Why raise up a criminal? Why raise up a man that has to go to crime in order to exist? Mm -hmm. You're making a criminal. You know, because 90% of the black people, they can't earn a living. Mm -hmm. So what, is, what are they supposed to do to get it? Do you feel in education that they should learn uh, a trade before they get out of high school, start getting out of high school and going in a job? Well, they should learn a trade in elementary school. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you go right now to, you know the bad thing about it, you go to predominantly, which they say they don't have that, but we know they still have it. Go to predominantly black school. Our school is in a uh, black area, a low-income area. And uh, we're talking about a college, okay? Then you can go to a, a, a predominantly white college, uh, one of the major co uh, white high school, and that high school will have a better curriculum than a black college. Mm -hmm. That's an institution. But Those kids got better education in high school than the kids got in black colleges. 